Hello all and welcome back to the Aimless Electron. It's been a while again but life got in the way, uh, getting married, going on a honeymoon, those things you know they take up a lot of time when you're planning them. Anyways uh, I am still working on the reflow oven project and I will be starting on the new LED project again for Burning Man. Got some new hardware, gonna look at one of the SAM E70s I believe it is and the explain board. I'll go over real quick in this episode what I've done on the uh, on the reflow oven. I've actually done a bit and I wanted to get more of it done before I shot the next episodes and then also shot some more code bits to explain the code behind it. But I want to catch everybody up because I know it's been a while. So let's go check out what I've got. All right, you'll probably notice that this board has a lot more going on with it than it did in the last episode. Now it has the Nokia 5110 screen on it and a thermocouple being read by a MAX31855 chip on this breakout board. And that's a cold junction compensated with SPI out. So we're driving this screen via SPI and reading this via SPI as well. Makes it really nice. Finally, this transistor is just driving the backlights on here so I can drive the backlights off of a 3.3 volt uh, pin, GPIO pin, and not sink a lot of current. Uh, the nice thing about this screen is I've got it set up to display pixels and text and also read things like the, uh, the temperature. And right now the ambient temperature is 23 degrees Celsius or 73 degrees Fahrenheit. And as you can see, that'll jump up if I hold on to it and then go back down. And also just to demonstrate a blinking backlight, even though that's very annoying. Next I'll be adding some push buttons to this and some indicators and probably a buzzer. So look for that in the upcoming episodes. Oh, I also want to mention that to stabilize the temperature reading I've basically got a rolling average and a rolling average is something where you take a couple measurements, drop the first one, add on the next one, drop the first one, add on the next one. I'll show that in the code and probably a code byte segment coming up soon. So I'm going to keep this video pretty short because there's not a lot that I have to show in it. Hopefully I'll have some more interesting stuff to show you in the next one. Stick around for more of the LED screen projects for Burning Man coming up this year. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Give me some comments, suggestions, criticisms, whatever. I like it all. Subscribe if you like the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.